There is nothing magical or special that happens when the clock strikes midnight and January 1st takes over. But being a sequencer, I do like to have fresh starts and fresh beginnings, and I love to create New Year's resolutions. Motherhood can be really draining, and it's great to be mindful of your mental health and to create healthy habits so that you can be the best mom and best wife in 2022. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you my three New Year's resolutions and how I am doing motherhood mindfully. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned, give it a big thumbs up because it really does support our channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified when we upload every Monday and Thursday. And let's get to these resolutions. I know that some people disagree with New Year's resolutions. They don't like them because it can set them up to fail and this is the thing with a new year's resolution it does take discipline and sacrifice however there are two things that I refuse to sacrifice and that is quality time with my husband and quality time with my kids I am finding with every passing year the more kids that we are adding to our family the more chaotic life is becoming and I don't want to just get through it. I really do want to enjoy it, enjoy the journey and be really mindful and present. A year can hold so much change and unknown and it can seem really overwhelming. And if I was to look at 2022 as an entire year, I would have a panic attack over it. In a couple of weeks, I am going back to full-time work with three kids in the middle of a pandemic where I am in my third trimester of pregnancy and that is really hard to deal with and to process. I am so anxious about going into labor. I am scared about having a newborn again and juggling three kids as well and having four of them under one roof. All of it can become super duper overwhelming. And even just thinking about what does the future look like being a mom of four little kids and going back to work. And that's the reason why I'm sharing this video is because I'm hoping to encourage you that if you are also feeling overwhelmed with the prospects of this year, that these resolutions will help you to not only overcome this year, but to have peace throughout it and to feel like you are the best you going forward. My first resolution has been the same resolution that I have done for the last two years. I started this back in 2020, being the start of a decade. I thought now is the time and that is to read my Bible from cover to cover. I have been a Christian for the longest of times and until 2020, I had never read the entire Bible. I really wanted to do it. And so at the start of 2020, I did have a hard copy Bible that I was reading through and I was following a plan and I use an app called YouVersion Bible. And on there, there are so many different whole Bible plans that you can select from. You can do ones where they do an Old Testament, a New Testament focus, and then like a Proverbs and a Psalm. You can do it chronologically. You can do it through different authors. And midway through, I found it a bit overwhelming to continue doing that because I did have Finn. And so I started reading it via audio version, which I found very helpful. Last year in 2022, I did the entire Bible audio version because I went back to work and I was struggling three kids and it was really overwhelming not to do it that way. I feel at times there's this unspoken judgment that happens that when you're spending quality God time like in his word that it has to be in a peaceful environment and you need to have your hard copy Bible out and you need to fulfill this vision of what quiet time with God is like. And it's not being disrespectful to do it with an audio Bible and it's not disrespectful to try and multitask because as moms, our time is full. It is juggling so many balls and so many different things that I would rather do it this way than not do it at all. And I found, especially last year being my second time going through it, when I was coming against really trialing at times and times in my life that were challenging and the future was really unknown or I was questioning why things were happening, God really used my discipline of being in the word daily to speak into those situations, which is super encouraging. And I feel like I had a better disposition, like a better attitude towards life because 
I was living and breathing the Bible on a daily basis. So I just really encourage you to do it in whatever way that you can. My second news resolution is to have date night once a week. Now, date night does not have to be the fact that we leave the house because as parents of three young kids and soon to be four kids including a newborn that would be an unrealistic goal however date nights can be done here at home because i feel like the purpose of a date especially when you are trying to invest in your marriage is to have that intentional quality time with your spouse to reconnect to continue to get to know them more and to share moments and memories to really solidify your relationship together. And that's something that we have reflected on from 2021 and we didn't prioritize our marriage. It really was an afterthought. We were just trying to keep our heads above water and there are seasons for all of those times. But this year, Michael and I really do wanna be intentional with our marriage. We really wanna be investing into it and strengthening it and being good role models for our kids. And we've also discussed that if we are strengthening our marriage and focusing on one another, that as an overflow of that, we are gonna become better parents. And so that's something that we really do believe in and want to do this year. So for date nights, we're thinking of things like when we're going grocery shopping, picking up an extra treat and maybe doing like a coffee and dessert night and just chatting and getting to know each other better in each other's weeks. And even playing a board game while doing that. It could look like picking up some things to create a grazing board. And while the kids have their midday sleep, we could be just having a date day, even setting a picnic up in the backyard. It could also look like doing an extravagant at home movie session. As parents, it's really hard to get to the cinemas with the more kids that you have. And we were super blessed to go see the new Spider Man movie. But with a newborn, it really is going to be quite tricky to try and get to the cinemas in the near future. And so once the new releases come to Foxtel or wherever we can hire them, we want to do those really extravagant movie nights at home, get special treats, pretend like we're at the movies and just spoil each other, watch the movies that we want to watch and share those moments together. And if you do date nights already at home, please comment down below your favorite date home ideas because I would love to hear them and put them down as some future date ideas for us. My final news resolution is to look after my mental health. I am sure you are well aware of the phrase that it's really hard to pour from an empty cup and motherhood is notorious for emptying our cups a lot faster than what it would have been prior to motherhood. And that is not a bad thing. I know that being a mom really is a blessing and a privilege. And I want to make sure that my cup is full so that I can pour love out onto my family and to serve them to the best of my capacity. And investing in the word and investing in marriage time are going to help fill my cup up. But I also want to do stuff that is me related. Back, not mom, not spouse, not anything except for who I am. And one thing that I love to be is creative and productive. And I guess that's the reason why I started my YouTube channel was because it gave me that creative outlet where I felt productive once I had completed a video and uploaded it. And then the bonus was it created this online community to help me feel like I am not alone. And I am forever grateful for each and every one of you who are currently watching this video and all my videos is YouTube really has allowed me to feel like me again <laughs> amongst the motherhood journey. I love to make memories and YouTube really has helped push me out of my comfort zone because in order to create content, I need to be thinking about what can I do with my kids and what can I do with my family? And we don't get stuck in that rut of doing the same thing day in and day out. And I am forever grateful for that. I love this creative outlet. And also in 2022, I am going on the journey of creating sourdough. I've never done sourdough bread before. And January 1, I just had this idea that I wanted to do sourdough bread this year, especially because I'll be taking maternity leave to have this bobby. And so I bought a pack off Amazon and I've looked into how to create a starter and on a 
sourdough recipes. If you have a sourdough recipe, please leave it in the comment box below. I'd love to know any tips or tricks along the way. So that is something that I'm doing for me this year and I feel like going on this journey of the whole artistry and science behind creating sourdough is something that I'm really going to love because it's that creative outlet that gives me a product but also it's going to be beneficial for the family because we are going to have fresh bread in the house which I think is a win-win for everyone and it's these little things that I love to do for my mental health where I feel like it's not just benefiting me it is benefiting my family but it really does feed into my soul and helps me to feel like me back not mum not wife not person employed teacher etc it's just something for me that i love to do so i am mindful on making sure that these things don't overtake my life and that i am not sacrificing family time or marriage time and that i'm finding that balance between all of it but i feel like it really will help me to find that balance so that i really can be the best back for 2022 and that i don't become overwhelmed with what's to come thank you so much for watching today's video i hope it has encouraged you to think of some healthy habits that you can set as a new year's resolution if it has please give this video a thumbs up it really does support our channel don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified when we upload every monday and thursday and if you do have a new year's resolution i would love to hear what it is so comment down below because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book we only have each other happy new year and i'll see you on thursday Bye.